These are rice fields that have been experimentally designed to test the growth and survival of Chinook salmon. Uh, that may seem strange, but um, once you understand that rice fields have largely replaced the natural marshes uh, which lined the Central Valley's floor and which, historically, and uh, which were the nursery habitat for young salmon. This is where salmon got large enough to survive their arduous journey to the sea, return in the vast numbers that they did. In an effort to recover California's population of Chinook salmon, UC Davis researchers measured, weighed, tagged, and released 800 baby salmon into flooded rice fields at Nags Ranch, northwest of Sacramento. The goal is not only to demonstrate that salmon will benefit from recreating marshlands, but also that it can happen on land used for other purposes, such as farming. The fields that I have behind me are really demonstrating a new model for both ecology and economy. What we're really trying to put forth is this idea that you can manage lands in the Central Valley for flood control, for farms, for fins, and for feathers. And what I mean by that is that this uh, idea that farms or native fish are mutually exclusive some way, or, or lock horns, is, is really a falsehood. Um, that what we can do if we take into consideration the natural history and biology of aquatic organisms is manage California's water in a way that both allows sufficient water to make it to cities, uh, to farms, and uh, to the environment. Researchers release the salmon into the rice fields where they will have plenty of food, slow moving water, and less predators, thus growing bigger at a faster rate and more likely to survive their voyage at sea. What it means to, to Central Valley residents is that I think you can expect to have a future where you know, not only our children, but their children can have salmon. We can really end up with a result that is good for flood control, that is good for farms, and that is good for fish.